Well, hello there. This is Sebastian. And this is Darth Wolf. And we're your hosts for a Father and Son Star Wars Talk. Yeah, let's do this. Today we're going to continue with the lies in Star Wars. This is our third episode and we're going to continue with the third dozens of lies. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 of this trilogy of lies, please do so now. So far we have covered 24 lies, 18 from Kenobi and 6 from Yoda. Lie number 6 from Yoda was one of those that counted as another hidden truth. Luke had the right to know 3 years earlier that Yoda was close to 900. So let's continue to the next lie. Yoda then asked, no more training do you require? He didn't say that three years earlier. He said Luke's training was incomplete. Line number seven. So this could be like an implicit acknowledgement of a previous life. Then he added, already know you that which you need. Does this sound accurate? No! He skipped a key lesson. How to defend against force lightning. Luke was going to need that. He really didn't know what he needed. Why number 8? And Yoda really knew this. He even went to say, Do not underestimate the powers of the Emperor, or suffer your father's fate, you will. He knew, and he didn't tell him. And more importantly, did Anakin's fate was a result of underestimating the powers of the Emperor? Not exactly. His fate was the result of trying to save his wife, and Anakin did not receive the force lightning from the Emperor. He got his leg and one arm cut off by Obi-Wan. He underestimated Obi-Wan. Then, who underestimated the powers of the Emperor? Yoda! Yoda should have said, don't underestimate the powers of the Emperor like I did. Line number 9. This was a perfect time to talk in something like, but worry, do not. Easy the solution, there is. If force lightning comes your way, just keep your lightsaber up in front of you. Do not throw it away. And then dies. That would have been a lot more useful than what came next. There is another Skywalker. Not a lie, but not the whole truth either. It would have been better to know it a lot earlier. Luke would have brought Leia for some group training so that they team up and have greater chances to succeed. Yoda knew how powerful Sith Lords are. So for hiding this truth, we count another lie. Final count is 10 lies from Yoda, adding Kenobi 18 or at 28. Next character? Let's do Leia. Well, when talking about her real mother, she said, just a little bit, she died when I was very young. She was very beautiful, kind, but sad. Actually, didn't Pat May die when Leah was born? Correct. She was a newborn baby. Then there is no way she could have had those memories from her. I agree with you 100%. Line number one for the princess. And then, about being twin brothers, she told Luke, I know, somehow, I've always known. If she knew, then why did she kiss him twice? I've been asking myself the same question. So, if she knew, she had been hiding the truth from him. Lie number two. And she was telling him this right before he goes to meet his father, perhaps, it was the right time to say an innocent lie, like, Whoa, I had no idea whatsoever. Sorry to kiss you twice, bro. That won't ever happen again, I promise. That way, Luke gets the reassurance he desperately needed. Yeah, in this case, Luke wasn't ready to assimilate the two. So, two lies from Leia. The total is now 30 lies? Yes, next character, remember only the good guys. Uncle Owen! Oh, this one has some good ones too. He started with lies about Obi-Wan Kenobi by saying, I don't think he exists anymore. He did exist. He was lying to his nephew. Lie number one. Then he added, he died about the same time as your father. 
this one should count as a double because in the sentence he is referring to two people and both were alive. So lies two and number three. Then we have some of Owen's lies revealed by Luke in a conversation with Kenobi. He mentioned that his uncle told him that Anakin had been a space freighter. And he wasn't. We all know he was a Jedi. Lie number four. For the uncle. Also, he didn't tell Luke his father built C-3PO. Right. Hiding the truth again. Owen lives and his family lived with C-3PO for some years. And he must have known C-3PO was built by Anakin. Lie number five. How's the total count before we go to the next character? Five lines from Uncle Owen. The total is now 35. Let's do C3 Piona. Did he lie to Luke too? In episode 4, when referring to Leia, he said, I think she was a passenger on our last voyage, a person of some importance. Perhaps he wanted to keep it a secret? A strange secret, I would say. He later told R2-D2, Behave yourself, R2. You are going to get us in trouble. It's alright. You can trust him. In reference to Luke. But apparently, c didn't trust Luke as he knew who Leia was but chose not to reveal it. Line number one for the droid. And that brings us to the end. A total of 36 lies. Almost all the good guys lied to Luke multiple times. An average of 12 lies per episode. Perhaps the original trilogy should be renamed Everybody Lies Luke. I don't think that there is any other hero that have to deal with so many lies. Probably not. That brings us to the end of this talk. Let's ask our audience. Did you really think there were 36 lies to Luke during the original trilogy? All of them told by good guys? Would you think this could have any potential impact on how the new trilogy plays out for him? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this father and son Star Wars talk, show us your support. Bye. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. These were Darth Wolf and Sebastian. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you again.